All right, today behind me, we have the new 2020 Super Duty. This is the 475 horsepower, 1,050 foot-pound of torque, 10-speed transmission unit. Decided to do a review on that, do a drive today, take a look at it, go over the window sticker, show you all some of the stuff about this new truck. Let's get after it. So this is a new 2020 Platinum. Looks like these trucks have a little bit different grill design this year than the previous models. Fog lamps. This truck just rolled off the carrier today. Let's have a look at the window sticker. F250 crew cab, it's a 160 inch wheelbase, 6.7 power stroke, 10 speed automatic. This is Tecate Black, black interior. So, your options this one does have the adaptive steering, the lane keeping alert. to the options 6.7 liter diesel 10 speed automatic and they have the 331 electric locking axle the new 10 speed allows them to go down a little lower on the ratio on the rear end of course going to get you a little better fuel mileage better fuel economy but still has enough gears to manage your pulling very well fx4 package this one's got the Power sunroof and it does have the fifth wheel prep package and that better switches. Total MSRP on this one 81,170. Your safety ratings. So let's take a look in the bed with the tailgate. So we've got a button under here for the tailgate, which also has a button on the remote to open it. This is your tailgate step here. It can be folded down. It can be pulled out and folded up. We've got a nice sturdy step to step onto to get into the bed. This bed, this bed does have the fifth wheel prep and it's got the box link features also. So you can order ATV ramps and all kinds of accessories, tie downs for the box link. It has the seven-way plug here around this. Pull up there. And then I think that's for the camera system for your trailers. I'm pretty sure. And then up here, you have a button for your lighting. When you push that, it also turns on your cargo lighting. All right. So we've got the power running board. As soon as you open the door, those fold out. This is the back seat of the Platinum. Um, also has the box under here. I think these are for the camera, for trailer cameras. And I believe that this is all the box link tie downs for the bed. And this box is collapsible here under the seat. And I'm pretty sure that's lockable storage under there also. You can lock this, the seats down. And put something on there and keep it locked up. Get in here and take a look at the leg room. I've probably got, man, more than a foot of leg room. And that seat's probably almost all the way back in the front. You take a look at that. Got your seat heaters. Got your 12 volt 
cigarette lighter. You got USB and USB C. Over here, you've got your 110 outlet, your two air vents. And then a fold down console. And this one also has a cup holder in the end of it you can pull out. Very comfortable seats. This truck is also equipped with the full panoramic sunroof. This truck also has the keypad. You can see it's got the mirrors with the side markers. This has got the cameras for the surround also. Open the door. And let's look at that magic payload number. Let's see what it is. So there it is. Payload, 2,061 pounds. Very nice seats, nice stitching. Got the platinum logo, an adjustable headrest, which are nice. Platinum door seals. Got the seat memory buttons, power windows and then your mirror settings. And those are power fold-in and power telescoping also. All right. We also have power up and down on the steering and in and out, power telescoping. Over here's the lights for the mirrors on the outside that actually shine outwards. Your automatic settings for your lights. You can turn them on, off. That's your tailgate button and your adjustable pedal button right here to move your pedals in and out. Move them in for short people like me. All right. Let's start this thing up. And talk about a little bit of the differences. Okay. So one of the things you notice is when we shift this thing to drive, Look at that, 10 speed on an HD truck. And then you also, if you look at your shifter, you now have the drive mode, which is great. You can set different drive modes. They give you diff different shift patterns. You can have economy, slippery shift pattern, deep snow and sand, and then just normal. Four wheel drive settings trailer brake control and now the heavy the heavy duty trucks are coming with the pro trailer backup it's a nice feature there's your exhaust brake to the left up here on the top trash control off hazards hill descent control this is your lane keep so you can actually turn the lane keeping system off or on and then this is your 360 camera button here actually gives you an overhead all the way around the truck. I'll turn that back off. Radio, climate controls. You can use the ones at the bottom or the ones up on top. Your phone, navigation, apps, and settings. And the one thing about these trucks that's really nice is we go into settings. Remember there are seats. Okay, when you go into the seats, this truck actually has the massaging seats so you can, and the adjustable lumbar, so you can turn them on and off there, or there's a side button on the side of the seat where they can be adjusted. Down here's your AC controls, your seat coolers, heat. We've got a nice cubby hole here that now has a wireless charging pad. You put your phone in and it'll charge automatically, USB, USB-C. Cup holders. Must be deep console. And two more cup holders in the back of the console for the back seat. We go up top. So we have your map light to the left. Then that's all lights in the cab. This one is if you don't want the cab lights to come on in the truck when you open the door. These are sunroof controls. And this is a screen for the sunroof. And then this is the map light for the right sunglass holder and you have auxiliary switches on this truck 
are also a nice feature. And that's your rear window slider. That controls that window in the back. And this truck also has a rear window defroster. You can see the lines. Down here's your adaptive cruise settings. So you can set your distance, how many car spaces between you and the vehicle in front of you, on and off. Phone. And then those are your radio controls here. And these are your menu controls here to go through the menu. So let's take a look at some of the safety settings in the menu. If you like the features, you can have them on. If you don't like them, you can turn them off, which is still really nice. So we can look at the pre-collision with the sensitivity with active braking, and it's on right now. Cruise control, if you don't like the adaptive, you can turn it to normal. Or you can turn the adaptive on. Gauge selection, these are what gauges you wanna see up top. Like you can see the turbo boost up there now, or if you wanna see your transmission temp or your diesel exhaust fluid level, you can see you can select those gauges there. <laughs> And it'll change that gauge up in the top right corner. Lane keeping system. We're going to talk about the sensitivity, which is normal, increased. We're going to go ahead and move it because I want to show you all that here in a little bit and how that works. And then alert intensity, low, normal, or high. Advanced settings. Um, that's my key. Power running boards, remote start windows, wiper controls, auto engine off, lighting, locks, mirrors, you're going to tow it neutral, alarm, and then back to power running boards. So that's some of the settings that you'll see inside the feature. Then you've got off-road settings, towing status, you can go through there and set your trailers up, change your gauge view, your tire pressure, can see that information there if you want. You want to pull up the speedometer. So very customizable. We're gonna go ahead and put it back on the speedometer for now. Another thing this truck has you have a upper glove box, and you have a lower glove box. So they've done a pretty big jump on this engine this year. 475 horse, 1,050 foot pounds of torque. Excited to drive it and see how it shifts with the 10 speed and the new horsepower. That's a pretty strong power plant. All right, so we're just pulling out of the dealership. Just pulling out of the dealership, one thing I noticed on the speedometer, which is nice, it has the speed limit off of the GPS. Got a pretty good sized railroad track here. Very smooth. Acceleration is, is very good. The steering feels really good. It's about medium weight to me. Um, it's not too light, not too heavy. You know, what I notice is, is it changes those gears and you don't even feel it, you know, for like a downshift. It's in nine, I didn't even feel the shift. Um, give it a little bit of gas. See it drop down to seven. I mean, it, it's just, you can't even tell it's grabbing the gears. I can't feel the shifts at all. It's pretty amazing. Looks like we're averaging about 18 which is kind of cold today, so that's against it a little bit. 47 degrees outside. Overall,
overall truck handles really well, rides well. It's nice to drive. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out here. I'll give y'all about a half the throttle acceleration. Very impressive. Very smooth shifts. Like I said, thanks to Matt Kayak Ford of Victoria, Texas for providing this uh, 2020 F-250 Platinum for review today. Um, if you liked the video, please hit like and subscribe down there at the bottom. We're going to put the stock number and the website and the contact. If you're interested in this unit, please feel free to give them a call. And thanks for watching the video. Catch you on the next one.